away on the North Somerset coast is the delightful village of Porlock. This is one of the most attractive and unspoilt parts of England, providing the peace and relaxation you need to concentrate on developing horsemanship skills up to international level. At Porlock Vale Equitation Centre, there's every facility to help the serious student, from novice to international competitor, and that covers a wide range of requirements, as one of Porlock Vale's senior instructors explains. We get a very wide range. Um, people who've never ridden before, complete and utter novices who are having their first lesson, two people who are fairly advanced and experienced who want uh, further help or a little bit of guidance to help towards the more advanced exams. And we get people from different walks of life, from busmen to uh, accountants, you know, the whole lot, really. The various courses available at Portlock are structured within the British Horse Society's requirements. And with the centre's qualified instructors, you can be confident that the training given is to the highest standard. We're mainly a training centre, and we do run three different lengths training courses for the assistant instructors exam in particular, uh, from three month course right up through to a year course. Those are the standard ones. We also run courses for people taking the intermediate and their eye exams. And then we run holiday courses for people who want to have fun, want to improve their riding, have a sort of semi-disciplined holiday, and see some lovely countryside as well. And then we have specialist courses, people come with a specific purpose, perhaps to have a young horse train or to have help with a competition horse that has a problem. Or perhaps they've just come into competition late and they want to learn how to ride a dressage test or to go across country or something. Central to every course at Porlock is a thorough grounding in horse care and management. And this means that in most courses, Students are expected to carry out a practical program of yard duties. I think I've grown up a lot, you know, be able to cope with more situations and not to get so flustered if you've got to tack up three horses or whatever for a certain time and you don't worry about it, you just go ahead and do it. So I've got my horse here and I can ride in the school and both cross country and so it's benefited him as well. Really it's just experience of doing all this and being able to be here. It's not all serious, not all the time. It's not intense. But um, when you do need to get serious, it, you know, you get down to the nitty gritty and can't move it. I'll just take you all into left C. The centre has several separate training areas where a number of different activities can be taking place at the same time. One of the most popular aspects of equestrianism today is that of cross-country riding. Denis, already an experienced competitor from Belgium, came to Porlock Vale to improve his teaching skills and further his career. I think English people are well known for their knowing and knowledge about horse. <laughs> Therefore, a lot of people come, and if you go around the world, you can see that a lot of grooms or head girls or even instructors are English, and they are quite well known. Success in any sport comes essentially from meticulous groundwork, and no less at Porlock Vale. The attention to basic training in each of the disciplines forms an important platform for any rider's future success. I think you've just got to watch Nicky a tendency you have to be quite rounded in the shoulders you're going over and it's making you pull back with the hand rather than the hand being forwards and giving. Uh, it's leg into the hand, the hand allows. I think that we try as much as possible to let everyone develop their own personality here and there isn't a, a divide between staff and students. Teaching uh, is very much a two-way thing. I mean, both you as a, an instructor have to give out knowledge and your pupil will want to receive it. I think that you spend your whole horsey career uh, perfecting the basics, whether it's in your position or in the way your horse goes. Because many of the courses are geared towards BHS approved examinations, Equal emphasis is placed on theoretical study. 
For the proper training courses, the theory side has, in a way, become more important, although the BHS have tried to make the exam more practical. We offer every student here at least one hour of theory, discussion, training, demonstrations each day, and we do expect the serious career students to study for at least two hours, five days a week on their own. Number eight, hold two, two pounds of oats and one of nuts. Two pounds of oats. Two pounds of oats. He's doing quite hard work. Good morning, Chris. Much of the training at Porlock Vale is undertaken on a one-to-one -one basis, and this allows a very wide range of courses tailored to suit individual requirements. This can include specialised equestrian disciplines to suit a particular need, which you would be unlikely to find elsewhere. Right, on three. One, two, three. Okay. Give you guys try, let me see if it's square. Whilst the academic level is of the highest order and the training facilities are truly comprehensive, the real attraction to training at Porlock Vale lies in its superb location. Its peaceful atmosphere. Ingredients essential to any serious student. Young riders are by no means forgotten and often come for individual or group lessons. The theory in starting young to ensure a good future is certainly adopted here. Good, now get them to correct top diagonal. That's better. I think it's important for children to, to learn as young as reasonably possible. They're going to have more fun, they'll have more confidence and they'll, they'll learn correctly. Whilst little has changed in the teaching system over the years at Porlock, new techniques to help students are always under review. Keep him up, keep him together, keep him round, keep him going. It's surprising how many times you can tell somebody they do this, that or the other, but when you actually show them on film that they do it, they, they are convinced. And they try then a bit harder perhaps to, to put it right. And also, it's, it's quite fun, say, at the end of a week, if somebody's just here for a week's holiday or at the end, halfway through a course even, to show them pictures of themselves riding at the beginning and to see what they've done and how they've improved since. The school has facilities for 40 residential students. And this delightful Edwardian house becomes more than just a focal point for the duration of a course. It reflects the whole spirit of inner achievement which many students attain throughout their stay. <laughs> Bordered by the Exmoor National Park and a beautiful coastline, this traditional and historical area is unique. And on days off, there are some fascinating places of local interest to visit. Within a few minutes walk from the school is Porlock Weir, where students and staff can relax and enjoy an evening out in this sleepy fishing village. Vale Equitation Centre, providing the best tuition in a wide range of equestrian skills, equipped with facilities to international standards, set in delightful surroundings. Porlock Vale, dedicated to the pursuit of excellence.